Mesh Mixer 2.9 introduced an enhancement to the transform tool. Now objects can be moved, rotated, and scaled precisely by numerical entry. This new ability combined with the new pivot tool makes for much more precise workflows. For example, I can drop these solid primitives randomly on the grid. I'll use a sphere and an icosahedron. I want to perfectly align the sphere with the icosahedron so that I can make a Boolean difference between the two. To do this, I select one of the objects and enter the transform tool. Now you can see I have many parameters I can use in the side panel for how I want to move, rotate, or scale my object. To enable absolute transforms, I need to make sure I check the enable snapping option down near the bottom here, which also allows me to ensure absolute snapping. Now, I can enter 0 for the translate x, translate y, and translate z for the sphere, and accept the changes. And now I can use the translate tool to do the same for the icosahedron. Here, I just zero out the same translate parameters. Pressing enter, I can see that the two objects are now aligned at the origin of the scene. This was previously a little tricky to do. Now I'll make the sphere slightly smaller using the transform manipulator. Here I drag the white cube at the center of the manipulator to uniformly scale the sphere, meaning I'm scaling the scale x, scale y, and scale z parameters equally as I drag. I'm going to eyeball this to get the look and size I want, and I'm going to turn off the snapping so that I can click and drag the center of the manipulator to get the size I like. There. Now you can see the parameters have been updated as well. Now I will make the Boolean difference between these two objects, but before I do, I will add some more resolution to these objects with the Remesh tool. Booleans in Mesh Mixer, in general, behave better if you have more triangles and if the two objects have a similar density of triangles. It's easy enough to add some triangles to my objects with the Remesh tool. I'll start with the icosahedron. Select the object and press Ctrl A or Command A on the Mac to select all of the faces of the object. You can toggle on the wireframe of the object with the hotkey W to see how our remesh is working. Now, with all of the faces selected, click Edit Remesh. In my remesh settings, I want to make sure I use linear subdivision to ensure I preserve the original edges of my mesh. Then I can drag the density slider to the right. You can see the density of the triangles on my object increase, and toggling the wireframe with the hotkey W, I can see that the original geometry and edges of my object is not lost. I can repeat this process until my objects have the higher resolution I'm looking for. In general, the Boolean difference I'm about to do comes out cleaner with more triangles on these objects. Now I am ready to make the Boolean difference. So I'll first select the icosahedron, then shift select the sphere to multi-select both. I'll choose Boolean difference from the menu which shows me a preview, then click accept. So getting an exact alignment of my primitive objects was easy with the new parameter panel of the transform tool. I was able to align the objects at the origin and make an interesting result that would have been difficult to do otherwise without the transform's parameter panel.